Hey guys, it's David here from phonebook.com and in this video I want to show you how the Galaxy Nexus and Ice Cream Sandwich lets you connect your USB devices to your Android phone or tablet. So obviously the Galaxy Nexus doesn't have a USB port, you just have your micro USB charging port right here. So what you can get is this adapter, it's called the OTG USB to micro USB adapter. I got it off Amazon, it was about $5 or so and uh, as you can see it has a USB port and the micro USB side. So I'm just gonna plug this guy into my phone and connect a couple of my devices. So I'll connect a mouse and a keyboard. So first up, I'll connect my hardwired mouse. So you can see here's my mouse and here is the other end of the USB. So I'll go ahead and plug it in really quick and uh, show you how this works. So plug it in and start to use it. So it's kind of hard to see right now on the screen that it's on. I'll just go ahead and go over to the settings and uh, it might be a little bit easier to see on camera, the little uh, cursor. So I don't know if you can see that, but I am controlling my phone from my mouse. And uh, what's cool is I could actually uh, edit or modify some of the settings for the mouse. For example, I could go to pointer speed right here and make it faster or slower depending on how I like it. Hit OK and uh, you can see I'm using the mouse just like I normally would. Um, you know, you just click on the button you want. Uh, or the uh, the thing you want just by tapping it once and if you want a long press you just press and hold and uh, On the left click and it grabs it for you just like you would uh, when you long press But honestly, I don't see how useful a mouse really is on a touch screen. I think it's kind of cool just to be able to uh, Do it, but I don't know how practical it is But something I do think is practical is connecting a USB keyboard So I'll go ahead and unplug this guy and get my keyboard. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my keyboard right here so here's the other end of the USB. Again, I'll connect it right here like that. And uh, let's see if I have my notepad open. Okay, so let's go to notepad, go to new text. All right, so I'll go ahead and start typing on my keyboard. So I'm in a kind of weird position right now. So I'm not gonna be able to type like I normally do, but hopefully you'll get the point. So right now I am typing on my keyboard. This is a lot better than typing on the phone itself, especially if I am writing a long email. So you get the point, um, pretty much everything works. And not only that, you could actually, not other than typing, you could actually uh, control some aspects of the phone, such as back, you press escape, and uh, it'll go back, you could escape out of there. Um, you could use the directional pad to select things. For example, I could go to my games, tap on it and uh, choose what game I want just by using the directional pad. Again, hit escape for that to uh, back out of it. So it's pretty cool. You can also connect other devices like the Xbox 360 controller, which I do for you know games like GTA support it natively. Otherwise, you don't have to download an app that you know lets you modify the control so it works with other games. But in the future, we, see, we should see more and more games supporting this because it's new to Ice Cream Sandwich and uh, definitely something I'd like to see. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to give you a quick demo demonstration. Um, thank you for watching it, and don't forget to visit phonewolf.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.